What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the tail light from a GMC Yukon. This is a 2015 here, but it'll be the same from 2015 to 2020. So we're going to need a little trim tool. It's going to make this a lot easier. And then we're also going to need a number 15 Torx bit, a T15. I have it on a drill here as you can see, or you can just have it, uh, or you can do it by hand. So the first thing we need to do is remove this little retainer clip right here. If you don't have one of these, you can probably use a claw hammer or something like that. But you just want to get under that, and that's going to pop off like that. Now this whole this panel right here is going to come off. Um, I find it easier if you start at the bottom. Easy. And then work your way up. There's three clips that hold it on. to the actual three that hold it on. Once you get that off, um, we can see our Torx bits. We have one here and one down here. So I'll go ahead and take those off. And then once you get those two, those two screws out, pretty much it's just gonna slide off there like that. And then this other, there's this bulb right here, which is, let's see, that's the reverse bulb. If that burns out, obviously you can change that bulb. But if you have an issue with uh, the rest of it, it's just gonna be this. This piece right here comes off. As you'll notice, there's no bulbs because this, the majority of it's all one LED unit. Beside that one, besides that one bulb that I showed you, this whole thing is one LED piece. So the whole thing has to be replaced. So to put it back together, make sure that's tight in there. Push this back on. Line these screws up here and here, or these bolts kind of that are coming out of the tail light. And then you just reverse everything we did to get it out. Throw those two T T15 uh, screws back in. And one little tip when you're putting this this panel back on, I find it easiest if you start with the top one. So get it up in there and then put that in there and then the other two will kind of pop in there and then just make sure it's seated along your uh, your weather stripping once you get it down in there. It's pretty simple. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.